Have you got boots? No. <laughs> <laughs> One year ago, I created the Quilby channel, and now here we are with 44 videos, 5,000 subscribers, give or take, 188,000 views, 3,000 watch hours, 7,000 likes, and 850 comments. But is it enough? In this video, I'm going to tell you three things that I've learned this year about becoming a Minecraft YouTuber. This is a bit different from my normal content, so if this doesn't interest you, then you might want to check out one of these other videos. This is very important for any content creator to understand. Views, subscribers, these are not a measure of quality. You could have the best content in the world, but if no one knows you exist, you still won't get any views. This can be especially disheartening for anyone who is just starting out because it's really hard to get noticed. And organic growth doesn't happen until you already have a sizable following. In the first three months of my channel, I uploaded 10 videos and I only gained around 20 subscribers. Does that mean my videos were bad? Yes. Obviously a good quality video is more likely to accrue views, but there are no guarantees, especially when you're just starting out. This is perhaps the hardest lesson for any YouTuber to learn. It's so easy to get frustrated when you look at the competition. There are thousands of Minecraft YouTubers out there, and frankly, a lot of them are really bad, but they might still have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers. If you're always comparing yourself to these other channels, it's easy to lose confidence and become bitter. Instead, try to enjoy where you're at. Celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how small they may seem, and create content that you're genuinely proud of. If you only care about views and subscribers, then making videos is going to seem like a real chore, and your content will suffer as a result. Like I said, there are thousands of Minecraft YouTubers out there, but it's not all about competition. There are other people in the exact same boat as you. Why not reach out to them? You can encourage each other, celebrate each other's success, and even collaborate on videos together. To give an example, I featured MrCube6 on my channel when he had just 523 subscribers, and he's just recently hit 10,000. But am I jealous? Yes. No, but seriously, I'm really grateful to be part of a community of like-minded creators, and I genuinely wish them all the best. Finally, to all my viewers and subscribers, thank you. This channel would not be possible without you. I really appreciate all your comments and feedback and it honestly makes a huge difference. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.